Psalm 118 verse 24 This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. What else can we do but to rejoice and be glad in this day that the Lord has made? What else can we do but rejoice that the Lord has given us a new day? a fresh opportunity to live for him, to glorify him, and to be an ambassador for Jesus Christ. And so I would like to encourage you today to rejoice. Rejoice because as a child of God, you have a means, you have a way, you have the power to overcome whatever you face, because you have Jesus. You have the strength to endure, the faith to withstand any storm, and the firepower required to defeat the devil, all because you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour. And so this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This verse is not a suggestion but rather it's a statement, it's a declaration. Don't simply rejoice when things are well, when everything is good, but rejoice each and every day, no matter what meets you at sunrise. I may not know what you are going through, I may not know what you are facing, but at this moment all I can do is give you a word of encouragement. Remember that the Bible says in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. It's a declaration that the Lord has made. He knows the plans that he has for you. And the verse goes on to say, plans to prosper you, and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. And this should give you a reason to rejoice and be glad, because God Almighty has plans for you, plans to prosper you, plans for good things. And on a daily basis, that's what we need to remember. We need to be glad and to rejoice that God Almighty has plans for us. He wants good things for us. So even though your present circumstances may not be perfect, I encourage you to find just one reason, one reason to rejoice and be glad in this day that the Lord has made. And with that understanding, let us give him praise and let us pray. Heavenly Father, you are a great and mighty God. You are my Redeemer, Lord Jesus. My Redeemer who has delivered me from sin and led me to freedom from captivity. Lord, as your word says in Psalm 118 verse 24, I declare that this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad. I thank you for this new day, Lord. I thank you for the air that I am breathing. I thank you simply for giving me the ability to praise you. Forgive me for the times that I have not rejoiced about the grace and the goodness that you have shown me. Forgive me for taking you for granted, Lord. And Holy Spirit, I ask that you help me. When I feel as though I have a lot on my plate, and when I go through times where I don't see an end to my troubles, help me, Holy Spirit, so that I may always find a reason to rejoice. Open my eyes so that I can see all of the many blessings that the Lord has given to me. 
Help me, Holy Spirit, so that I may always find a reason to rejoice. Open my eyes so that I can see all of the many blessings that the Lord has given to me. Lord, help me so that I may not let the bad things of this world steal my joy. Help me to remember that I have victory in Jesus Christ. I refuse to let the devil steal, kill and destroy my joy. My Saviour, Jesus Christ, came so that I might have life and that I might have it more abundantly. And so I declare right now that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Lord, I know that you work my circumstances for your glory. I rejoice today because of your sovereignty, my Father. You are the one who is in full, absolute control of everything. There is nothing that takes place in my life that you, my God, have not allowed to happen. And so I find strength in the understanding that the sovereign God of all creation is working all things together for my good. I rejoice because you, Lord Jesus, have stripped away my old garments of sin and you have given me new garments covered in your love and tender mercies. I thank you, King Jesus, for I know that no matter how bad things may get, you will always be with me. I bless your holy name, for you have given me the promise that even if I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me, your rod and staff. They comfort me. Thank you for your presence that surrounds me always. Your holy presence that protects me and keeps me safe. Lord, your word in John chapter 14 verse 2 says, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And so I thank you, Lord Jesus, for this promise. A promise that I can rejoice and be glad in, knowing that you have prepared a place for me in eternity. A place that is more beautiful than I could ever imagine. In Psalm chapter 119, verse 162, the Bible says, I rejoice at your word as one who finds great treasure. Father, thank you for your precious word. Your word provides me with so many reasons to be joyful and glad. Your word tells me and encourages me not to fear, for you are with me. Your word, King Jesus, tells me that if I trust in you, you will keep my mind in perfect peace. Your word, Lord, tells me that you will order my steps and that you go before me. And I pray that the Holy Spirit will help me develop in my understanding even more so that your word may always live inside of my heart, so that my lifestyle may be one that always meditates on your word, Lord. Father, in Matthew chapter 21, verse 22, your word says, And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. Thank you for such a promise. A promise that the God of heaven, the God of all creation, will answer my prayers if I believe. 
I am grateful that you are a caring God, a God who has infinite wisdom and power, yet can still take the time to hear and listen to my prayers. For this reason I will rejoice and be glad. Lord, I thank you for every single thing that you do, from giving me health to protecting my family. I pray that the Holy Spirit may always help me to live in a manner that gives God all the glory and all the praise, a manner that is joyful and thankful, a manner that never takes your goodness for granted. I bless your holy name and I thank you for hearing this prayer. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.